are you? Hi. She just got a haircut, so please ignore the pom-pom tail she's got going on right now. I wanted to sit down and chat with my coffee. Side note, I just got some new creamer that's like salted caramel chocolate creamer or something. I don't know, but it's heaven. I moved away from home and out onto my own six months ago, basically, give or take a couple weeks, but it's basically been six months that I've been living on my own. I am in no way an expert on being by myself or living alone or how to like function as what appears to be a capable adult. But I lived at home with my parents for the last 19 and a half years. Then I just kind of went out on my own with no safety net for a year. And I'm a halfway through that year. And during this time, I feel like I've gotten a couple key tips, maybe. Things that I've learned are really helpful whenever you're living alone. I have five tips that I actually wrote down in my journal. They're very simple, they're very easy, but they're true. They're very simple. Really? What is happening right now? Paige! You're supposed to eat your bone up here, you dork. You went and finished it in about four seconds. Tip number one, and as ridiculous as it sounds right now, um, a pet. <laughs> she looks like a lost little old man right now. Even though she's ridiculous. And she gets on my nerves. And I don't know what else, really. She's such a friendly face to come home to, as cliche as that sounds. She makes me feel like I'm not quite as ridiculous talking to myself all the time. I can be talking to her. That's another thing, living alone, I'm really picking up the bad habit of starting to talk to myself. So, talk to your pet instead, even if it's a goldfish, even if it's a pet rock. Get something that you can actually talk to, that is some sort of being, hopefully that breathes and has a heartbeat, you know, but if not, that's cool. Tip number two, and this is pretty much if you're in school like I am right now, get a part-time job. I know that sounds like the dumbest and easiest thing in the book, but it's true. The one thing that I've learned is living alone and if I'm not in school like full time every day of the week is that it can get boring and lonely. Granted the job that I got is not the best being helpful for this because it is like a temporary seasonal type of thing, but I do like it. It gives me somewhere to go, it gives me something to do. I've gotten to know so many people on campus since the job is on campus. I've gotten to know so many people that work there and they're all really nice and it gives me something to go out and do every day at a certain time so it gives me a little bit of routine in my life. Which leaves me to step number three, figuring out a routine for yourself. Either it's a workout routine, or it's a playing with your pet kind of routine, or morning routine, night routine, grocery shopping routine. Routines are great. I'm such a fan of routines. I find routines to be really great and really helpful because it gives you a little bit of structure in your day. Like I said, if you're not in class or you're not working every day, you need to have some sort of plan of what you're going to do to spend your time. The main routines I've worked up so far is I have a morning routine, I have a grocery shopping routine, and I have somewhat of a workout routine. And granted, these can change change from day to day, but the basis still applies. I can figure out my agenda based around these things, and that's really helpful at times. No, leave my coffee alone. My coffee, not your coffee. Yeah, that's what I thought. Number four, and I'm, I'm really not very good at this one, but I figured it was important to include. If you move someplace where you literally don't know anybody, try and meet people. Everyone that knows me and is watching this is gonna say, Anna, you don't know people, you don't talk to people. Yes. That's true. But since the time that I've moved here, I've made a really great friend. I've made a couple other good friends, and I love talking to and hanging out with the people in my class. And even like I said before with work, it's talking to people on campus for me. That's where a lot of my interaction personally comes from. I don't know the secret to meeting people. I certainly do not have the answer to that. But it is important, and I recommend trying to do it. Finally, tip number five. This is my sock, by the way. Paige, drag it up here. Tip number five is to figure out your hobbies that you like to do and then do them. Make the time in your day to go out and do stuff that you enjoy. I personally love filming, big surprise. And I'm currently living in a really picturesque place. So I enjoy going out and taking pictures and filming. I'm starting to get into hiking with the bug. That was my birthday present, was a hiking pass. Thanks, mom. But seriously, join classes, go out and do stuff. Join a yoga class. I like movies and going to movies. So, so I drive up and see movies pretty regularly and that's really a fun thing for me to do. I'm probably gonna look back in another six months now that I've had my whole year 
done and have like a lot more to say. But pretty much the only other thing I have to say now is that in some ways I had no idea what I was getting into. But I also feel like on the other hand, I was really prepared for moving out and being on my own and alone for the first time ever. I really think that it's a personal thing. You know, if you're moving out into a dorm for school, that's different. If you're moving into an apartment all by yourself across the country, make sure it's really the choice that you wanna make. Make sure you're gonna be happy with what you're doing. Make sure that you're not gonna regret it two months down the road. And have fun with it. I'm only in this place for such a short time in the grand scheme of things and I'm trying to take advantage of it as much as I can and I'm having fun with it, so. <laughs> so there's a couple of my little thoughts on living alone. I don't know, I just thought it'd kind of be a fun little thing to do. I've only had like three sips of my coffee at this point. I'm gonna go finish my coffee. Thanks for watching and yeah, I will see you next time. <laughs> I can't do the clap thing with my coffee, so till next time. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. <laughs>